What's your advice for making MCAT prep more manageable? My advice for the MCAT is to make a plan before you even get started. I think having a plan to cover all the material that's needed and integrating practice problems is the best way to make sure that you cover everything in time and makes it less daunting because you know what you're doing week to week. I think the most important thing is doing practice tests before because that gives you the best glimpse into what the actual test is going to be like. I've heard of an application service called AMCAS. What is it and should I use it? Yes, use AMCAS. You have to if you want to apply to MD schools in the US. It's an application portal that allows you to put your activities, your transcript, personal statement, and everything into one application. And then you choose what medical schools you want to send it to. It's very similar to the common app used to apply to undergrad. What makes Creighton's application process unique? I think one thing that's unique about Creighton's application process is one of your interviews is with a current medical student. So you get a good glimpse into what a day-to-day -day life is and you're able to really hear a student perspective. Additionally, if you are waitlisted, you do have the opportunity to have application feedback with the admissions team, which is really helpful. How long did you spend on your personal statement? How many people did you have review it? And what kind of feedback did you get on your first draft? The personal statement journey is definitely a little different for everybody. Personally, I spent the majority of the time on brainstorming and figuring out how I wanted to articulate my desires to go to medical school before actually putting pen to paper. Once I got started, I think I spent an hour or two every week or so over the course of a month returning to it with fresh eyes. And then in terms of reviewing it, I went to a pre-med society review event and had a few people look at it there. I had my mom edit it a few times. And I think just having anybody that hasn't previously seen it is important so that you know the reader is understanding what you're trying to write. I'm super curious about what the final stages of the application process look like. What can a prospective med student like me expect from Crane's interview process? In terms of interviews, you can expect two 30-minute interviews. One will be with a faculty or staff member, and one will be with a current medical student. And during this time, you'll be able to explain your desires for medical school, answer their questions, and then you'll also be given the opportunity to ask any questions that you have.